Sean here from the Tour Guy. I've just arrived at Rome Fiumicino Airport, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get to Roma Centro from Rome Airports. Most major airports you visit are pretty easy to navigate. All the signs point where you need to go, which are generally four places that happen one after another. Bathrooms, baggage claim, exit, and ground transportation. In this video, I'll explain what airports service the Rome metropolitan area and what to do about ground transportation. You'll have to figure out the bathrooms, baggage claim, and exit by yourself, but they're all lit up by signs and it's normally pretty easy. In the end, I'll also talk a little about shopping inside the Fiumicino Airport and what you need to know when departing from Rome International Flights. Fiumicino. This is Rome's largest international airport and one of the biggest in Europe. It is named after one of Italy's most prized artists, Leonardo da Vinci. Now, why is the airport named after a painter? Well, Leonardo da Vinci was also an engineer and he invented the first flying machine with wings in 1480. Now, it may not have taken off, nor may he have even built it, but he at least drew it up and he was thinking in that direction. Uh, the airport is super easy to get to and from. You can choose from bus, taxi, private transfer, or train connections to get you to and from the airport and the center of Rome. There are two trains that link the airport to Rome. Buying tickets is easy for both. You can find a ticket desk and ticket machines with English options inside the airport's train station. The same applies for return journeys. Tickets can be purchased at any train station. Just remember to validate them like this at one of the little machines before you get onto the platform. The first train and the fastest train going out of Fiumicino is the Leonardo Express, which runs directly from inside the airport into Termini Station. Direct train, no stops. I'm gonna go through the security, get on my train, I'll see you guys in Rome. Termini Station is Rome's central train station and it's well connected to some of the most famous sites such as the Colosseum. Speaking of the Colosseum, before we get to like the hidden secret of the second train, we love creating videos, but we're most well known for running tours the Colosseum, Vatican, Florence, Venice, even Paris and Barcelona. Once you get all the information you need in this video, check out our tours and experiences on thetourguy.com. That's thetourguy.com. The second train is a regional train that leaves from the station inside Fiumicino Airport and links to Termini, but it also stops at a few other train stations along the way. This one's a little bit less expensive than the Leonardo Express, but one of these train stations is Trastevere, which is a popular destination with visitors. If you're planning on a stay in Trastevere or you're not sure where to stay in Rome yet, check out our guide of where to stay in Rome for some local advice. It's linked in the description below. Oh, and a pro tip. This train stops at different stations like Ostiense, Trastevere, different train stations before it gets to Termini Station. If you look up where your hotel is and it's near one of these stations, you can get off before going all the way to Termini and save money on a taxi. If the train isn't your thing, no problem. Like I said, the airport has tons of other transport connections into the city. The bus stop for Fiumicino is located just opposite of Terminal 2, and you will see signs all over for the regional bus station. The buses leaving from the airport will take you to Termini train station as well as a few local stops around the city depending on the bus company you choose. You can buy a ticket online ahead of time or you can even buy one on the bus for a small surcharge. Looking to get back to the airport using bus? With most bus companies, you can pick up a ticket at any authorized point around the stop, be it a local newsstand, tobacco shop, or any other ticket vendor. Again, also on the bus for a small surcharge. It's pretty normal. There are also a number of taxis going to and from the airport. It's probably the most popular way to get into the city. They can be spotted by their white color and the large taxi sign. I mean, of course, you guys have seen a taxi before in your life, and these look just the same. Um, they're outside all the arrival terminals at Fiumicino, so easy to find. Uh, you may find some unofficial drivers asking if you need a taxi when you, when you exit the airport, but you know we obviously don't advise you, you do that. We just think it's better to go to the taxi stand. Why take a risk? It's probably the same price. Be aware, however, that the taxis have fixed prices. The, the fixed rate is normally located on a laminated piece of paper on the back of the seat, so you can just see what the fixed rate is, and it's a, you know an official rate from the city. If you're unsure what the fixed rate is in your taxi, it's literally normally just taped to the back of the one of the seats, and, and they have to legally display them at all times. 
If you prefer to relax with the thought of a, you know, a private driver, you can book a, a private driver through the many transfer services in Rome, or you can book one through us by going through our trip planning service. We only offer this to our trip planning customers, it's kind of more of an exclusive thing we do. Uh, you can check out our trip planning service by going to thetourguide.com uh, and select the, the link for trip planning or visiting our official you know, luxury trip planning site, which is finellishaw.com. That's F-I-N-E-L-L-I-S-H-A-W.com. When Fiumicino Airport first opened, it had only two runways, and it was built just to relieve Rome's international Ciampino Airport back in the 1960s for the Olympic Games traffic. Today, Fiumicino serves over 40 million passengers per year. In 2017, it was ranked 47 in the world's busiest airports, as well as being the busiest airport in all of Italy. If you're flying long haul or form another major international airport connection, you'll likely arrive at Fiumicino. I know you're thinking, how do I find my way around the airport that's this large? Well, Fiumicino is divided into three terminals. First terminal is used mostly by Alitalia, the main Italian flight carrier and other international companies. Now, the second terminal is mostly used by low-cost companies, and the third is mostly used by American Airlines for flights to North America. One of the things I love the most about Fiumicino is how many stores and shops you can visit inside the airport while you're waiting for your flight. If you want to kill time on your way out, it's a good airport to find yourself in. You can walk around the shops, eat, and even subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out some of our Italy city guides to help you get around. Ciampino. The second major airport that services Rome is Ciampino International Airport. The airport was actually opened all the way back in 1960, and to this day, it's one of the oldest airports still in operation. Like Fiumicino, the airport can be accessed by multiple buses, trains, and of course, taxis. However, it is important to note that Ciampino does not have a train line that directly connects the city, but you can take a bus that runs every 30 minutes over the train station in the town of Ciampino, which then connects to Termini Station. Ciampino is the second largest airport in Rome after Fiumicino. However, it's nowhere near as big as Fiumicino, and because of that, it's a lot easier to navigate. The airport services not only civilians, but also serves as both commercial and a military airport. The airport features a single one-story passenger terminal building containing departures and arrivals. The departures area consists of a main hall with some stores and service facilities, as well as 31 check-in counters and 16 departure gates. The main way to get in the city from Ciampino is taking a bus. Even on the flights, they're selling tickets for Tetavision and a few other bus companies that you can buy directly before you land. Uh, this is normally the way I would do things if I was flying to this airport. The bus is pretty simple and easy, and they, they're scheduled to depart based on when flights arrive. So it's like super easy, and it, it really works well for, for, for your flight. Uh, you can take a taxi, too. It's a little bit less expensive than going to Fiumicino. Normally, it runs like 35 to 45 euros. Uh, it's a pretty decent option. There's obviously transfers available if you want to book one ahead with the many transfer companies in Rome, or you can book one through us if you're traveling to Ciampino uh, by using our trip planning service. You can contact us for more information on that. So that's it. I made it from the airport to my apartment rental in Rome. You might be staying at a hotel, but it's all the same. You've got a few different options for different budgets, so whatever one is best for your group. Otherwise, if you like this video, make sure you press that like button, and if you love the video, subscribe to get more content as soon as we produce it. Arrivederci. I'm gonna go through the, I'm gonna go through the, I'm gonna go through the security. Italian, you say, yeah. Che fila. Oh, ma che fila.